Germany, there is something serene regarding the German countryside round the Nürburgring. Small villages append the rolling, tree-line broads where all things are quiet, things are tranquil. As I cruise through one of those postcard villages, I take the time to recognize how smooth and quiet my Aston Martin DB11 is, plus it should be, it's a GT car right? However, I am not indifferent old DB11. This would be the 2019 Aston Martin DB11 AMR Signature Edition. After sitting behind a tractor for which felt just like an eternity, the highway opens and I opt to make a pass. I go through the wheel mounted power rain switch into sport mode, flatten the gas pedal, and also the village shrinks during my mirrors as being the twin turbo V12 wakes looking at the slumber, sending 630 British horses for me down the path. I lift off of the gas as well as the new exhaust system pops, cracks, and gargles using a sound that invokes classic Group B rally car anti lag vibes. I giggle. Then repeat. The once tranquil German landscape is actually resonant as to what is arguably one of the better sounding engines in the industry. Aston's AMR road car division was traveling to us in the 2017 Geneva Motor Show. Tasked with creating more dynamic versions of existing cars, AMR started using the Vantage AMR as well as the Mental Vantage AMR Pro. Even so the DB11 was next in line. We liked the normal DB11 V12, so what's the Super GT like after having a fettling in the AMR team? But before we have on to those lime green decals, let's discuss the performance gains. Outright power increased by 30 horsepower from your conventional V12 powered DB11 rising to 630 horsepower as a result of an AQ recalibration and marginal boost increase. Not only is overall power up, nevertheless the torque curve is improved, extending the earlier 516 lbft of peak torque right up to redline. The combination of such upgrades creates a 060 time that's 0.2 second quicker than before, being released at 3.5 seconds. Plus a top speed of 208 miles per hour, the power becomes immediately noticeable when I am free on one of Germany's great gifts to everyone, the unrestricted Autobahn. I place myself within the outside lane and hang the power rein to the most aggressive Sport Plus setting. The imposing profile associated with an Aston Martin with bright green stripes will do for the traffic in the front to move over. They know what's coming. As I firmly place my right foot completely down on the floor, I'm swept away with a wave of torque. The engine hardly feels turbocharged and it also is moments until I'm closing in on 170 miles per hour. The Mercedes sourced infotainment center then kindly reminds me that I have to exit soon, cutting my fun short. Never mind though. The subsequent stretch with the predetermined route can take me around the meandering back roads surrounding Nurburg. A perfect probability to test the AMR's abilities within the twisties. Dampers are stiffer in comparison on the existing DB11 V12 due to revalving, but spring rates stay. Maintaining the spring rate signifies that the floating, Smooth ride with the DB11 is retained within a longitudinal way. However, lateral acceleration characteristics have improved due to stiffer dampers in lower velocity maneuvers. The bushings holding the subframe on the chassis are constructed of a stiffer rubber compound than those in the stock DB11 V12, but they're also the same because ones found from the DB11 V8. The combination of subframe and damper stiffening increases the bridge tone potenza potenza S007 tire 10% improvement in contact patch size and dynamic situations. The wheels are actually forged alloy units, saving 7.7 pounds per corner of unsprung weight on the existing DB11 V12, further improving sporting prowess. 
breakaway characteristics from the rear axle predictable and to control. Provoking those big hips into oversteer is remarkably easy on account of the front engineer drive layout as well as the massive torque accessible to you from low RPM. Having the powered rain and sport plus mode provides you with full performance and aggression, though I found that keeping the chassis in GT mode was the most beneficial for backrod blasts. The softer damped GT mode allows the back tires to bite into the trail surface supplying you with good mechanical grip on bumpy, uneven roads. Steering is much more direct compared to the existing DB11, as a result of a 0.5mm thicker anterior bar connecting both front corners, an issue that Matt Becker, chief engineer, vehicle engineering, and his team were stubborn about having. The business case ended up being not have any new parts which need any new manufacturing logistics and price implications, but Becker were adamant that the car needed a thicker front air B to normalize the changes to your rear axle, and now we can thank him for his stubbornness. The front end certainly feels just as if it bites in quicker than before, and married on the chassis changes in the rear, results in a sportier feel on the entire chassis. Carbon ceramic brakes are certainly not available within the DB11 AMR plus it makes sense. The extra expenditure to have what is basically race car braking technology on the GT car would defy logic. The soft bite on the conventional steel rotors suit the demeanor with the DB11 AMR much more than grabby ceramics would. Good decision Aston. The exhaust system also advantages of a tweak. With all the attitude valve with the system is open for more with the time. Although outright decibel level is unchanged, it offers a more aggressive vocal track with the car in Sport and Sport Plus modes. It also provides each car the lift off pops and crackles that confer with your inner child. Previously unavailable within the DB11 V12, Extra fuel is fed towards the engine and ignition timing is retarded to induce highly satisfying overrun theatrics. Completely useless with regard to performance, but completely required for putting a smile with your face. Now to people lime green details. The signature edition is fixed to 100 units and it has bright green accents that span in the Aston logo about the hood for the base with the windscreen. A stripe from the same color also runs across the outside lip with the front splitter, which inside my humble eyes, sort of works. The six piston brake calipers may also be clad from the same hue, as they are the interior stitching, along with a stripe along the half leather, half Alcantara seats. The DB11 AMR includes other cosmetic upgrades like darker headlight surrounds, smoked tail lights, Dark front grille, dark tailpipes and gloss black roof or carbon for an option. If you miss your chance with the first 100 signature editions, the DB11 AMR will still have lime green calipers, yet not the sterling green paint and green stripes. The only qualms I have while using DB11 AMR will be the programming from the 8-speed ZF automatic. In GT mode it really works remarkably well featuring its smooth and soft changing of gears. Flick the powered rain system into sport mode however, so you get a different story. If you want to overtake someone, the kickdown method monumentally slow and abrupt in nature, it uses precisely the same logic as being the manual along shift sits keep as an engineered kick from the back, which feels great when working towards you through the gears but kicking down from 7th to 2nd doesn't work so well. Splitting hairs, I know, but a simple fix for Aston's engineers. An AMR DB11 may be yours from $241,000 while using first lucky few to obtain before the end on the second quarter. If you want the signature edition, dig slightly deeper to your pockets and discover an extra $37,000 for any one green stripes and additional exclusivity. So the burning question remains, 
have Aston Martin struck an ideal balance between Grand Tourer and sports car? I'd say thief. The 2019 Aston Martin DB11 AMR is smooth and feels in your house chewing through mileage within the Autobahn, but with all the flick of the switch, can demolish back roads by incorporating tail out action you may notice fit. 2018 Aston Martin DB11 AMR Special Edition Specifications Price $241,000 Base Engine 5.2 liters twin turbo dock 48 valve V12630 HP at 6000 revolutions per minute, 516 lbft at 1, 5007, 200 revolutions per minute. Transmission 8 speed automatic. Layout 2 door, 4 passenger, front engine. RWD Coupe EPA mileage 1521 LXWXH 187.0 by 76.7 by 50.8 inches wheelbase 110.4 inches weight 4134 pounds 060 miles per hour, 3.5 seconds, top speed, 208 miles per hour.